reputation be compromised. Lucy Cotter, Sky News. Well, joining me here at the Gherkin is Annabelle Gilberti, founder, founding partner of Crefovi, a law firm. She specialises in fashion law. Nice to see you. Thank you for coming in. I'm confused. Can you explain to me this? The judge said today, uh, the mere sale by a trader of a T-shirt bearing an image of a famous person is not an act of passing off. However, I find that Topshop's sale of this T-shirt was an act of passing off. So where's the line? Hello, Jeff. Um, the line is that the judge is here actually to um, apply the law. He, he looks at the, at the facts and um, he basically um, used the, I mean, sorry, applied the uh, three conditions to um, find the act of passing off to this situation. So just to explain a bit clearer what I mean, um, passing off is a, a, an intellectual property right in, mm -hmm. under English law. And before I explain to you what passing off is, I have to explain what goodwill is. Okay, well, can I, can I just uh, ask you this before you do that? I mean, according to the judge, he seemed to be saying that Topshop wanted to imply that Rihanna was endorsing its merchandise. Is that the crunch of it? That he was suggesting, that Topshop was suggesting to customers... This is actually the second condition of passing off, which is basically misrepresent misrepresentation, i.e. the... Um, the deceiving a particular public um, into thinking that this, um, this, this, this product was uh, endorsed by Rihanna. Right, so now that That's I can understand. Condition. That's misleading customers. But OK, what about this then? I mean, if you go on the internet now, you can see all sorts of products with pictures of famous people on them. So I went on the internet tonight and I just simply put in William and Kate. Mm -hmm. And up comes a huge wedding mug. Now, it's got a big picture of William and Kate on it. Now, why is that not passing off? Well, passing off basically is uh, the action of um, damaging the goodwill of a company and its products mm -hmm. by misrepresenting, um, misrepresenting something about this, uh, this uh, products and company. In, it is a case, passing off is a tort whereby a trader is misrepresenting the um, the products mm -hmm. and um, and and goodwill um, and creates some damages to this uh, to another trader. Okay, so you you talked about the damages. I'm interested in that. We we need to to cover this. Uh, it was a very big amount, three point three million pounds. Well, that's that's not to, a trifling sum. No, no, actually, that's that's incorrect. I'm afraid. So the first condition. What's incorrect? Three point three million pounds is on, not a trifling Jeff, amount. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You're going too fast. Uh, sorry, but um, you, if you want to see whether passing off exists, you have to check first that there is goodwill. Rihanna, in this case, she definitely has goodwill. She's a uh, world famous. Mm -hmm. pop star she also is also not for, known for being a, a trendy and um, edgy uh, fashion person and through her two companies Rorage um, LLC and um, the other one is to do entertainment she's got a lot of endorsement and merchandising deals going on out there right and for example she's got a massive merchandising contract with live right. nation the so she's in that company. business herself in yeah some respect. she's got goodwill definitely and um you can see through her very um, polished team of uh, lawyers, managers, and also our companies. Uh, for example, Rorage Limited owns all her trademarks. She's trademarked her name. She's trademarked um, a lot of she's trademarked on many products. She is in the business to actually do some endorsements and get some merchandising deals out there. Okay, right. so she's got the goodwill. Second condition. I'm afraid I'm going to have to stop you there. Right. We've run out of time, but oh, thank really? you for that explanation. Okay. We appreciate it. Well, that's almost all we've time for this evening, but before I go, is my number of the day. It's $38. That was the flotation price of Facebook shares, and in early trading today, they finally got back to that mark, having fallen sharply after their flotation in May last year. Personally, I thought they were grossly overhyped. Perhaps I was wrong. You've been watching Jeff Randall live. If you've missed any of this evening's interviews, they are all on the Sky News for iPad app. Tomorrow, I'll be talking to Ronan Dunn, the chief executive of Telefonica UK, the owner of mobile operator O2. Next up, of course, all the top stories on Sky News.
We've helped black labs, boxers, spaniels and have...